Chapter 21, Mishnah 1. This chapter deals with exceptions to the Muksa prohibition. A person may hold his son who has a stone in his hand if the son yearns to be held by his father, and a person may move a basket with a stone inside if the stone is needed to fill a hole in the basket and thus considered part of the basket. The next case concerns teruma, that is tame, which is muksa because no one, not even a Kohen, may eat it. And we may move teruma, which is tame, together in the same basket with teruma, that is tahor, or with chulin, i.e. regular non-sacred food, because the teruma, that is tame, which may not be eaten, is considered insignificant with respect to other food which may be eaten. The Mishnah now deals with meduma, which is a mixture of teruma and chulin. Meduma may not be eaten unless the amount of chulin in it is at least 100 times more than the teruma. In addition, a portion that corresponds to the amount of teruma in the mixture must be removed in order to make the mixture permitted. The Mishnah discusses removing this teruma portion on Shabbos. Rebbe Yehuda, may I, Rebbe Yehuda says, we may also remove the teruma portion of a mixture in which one part teruma got mixed together with one hundred parts chulin. Although removing teruma from untithed produce tevo on Shabbos is forbidden, removing the teruma portion from meduma is allowed.